Welcome to this week's Minnesota Association of Realtors video update. I'm Carrie Anderson. First, this year's National Association of Realtors Conference and Expo will be held in Anaheim, California, November 11th through the 14th. While I don't want November to be here anytime soon, I do want you to put the dates on your calendar and consider attending. Registration opens at Realtor.org on May 4th. As more details become available, we'll pass them on to you. Another set of dates to get on your calendar are June 4th and 5th for Nationwide Open House Weekend. We will be promoting this weekend with your local associations across the state, as well as other associations across the country. Visit our website for the Nationwide Open House logo for use in your marketing materials. There will be some radio, print, and online advertising, as well in conjunction with this event. MNAR and Bring Me the News are looking for your most interesting listings. If you currently have a listing that has some interesting qualities about it, we want to hear from you. Maybe the listing has interesting architectural features, or maybe a local celebrity used to live in it. Could it be the smallest or largest house you've ever seen? Send your listing to james at bringmethenews.com with your name, city, a picture of the home, and a description of what makes the listing interesting. Stay tuned because your listing may be the featured home of the week on bringmethenews.com. At the Capitol recently, House File 323 passed the House. HF 323 confirms that real estate licensees are permitted to provide broker price opinions or BPOs. The bill also permits real estate licensees to sign multiple exclusive agreements on the same property for different services, a measure that brings state law into conformity with regulator interpretation. The bill has also passed the Committee on the Whole in the Senate, a procedural step that prepares the bill for final Senate passage. Also at the Capitol, a bill prohibiting the state from mandating the installation of sprinkler systems in new and existing residential homes passed the House on Thursday, March 31st. MNAR advocated including existing residential homes, which were not included in the original legislation, and supported the bill. The measure passed on a bipartisan vote of 90 to 40. That's it from MNAR for now. Have a great week.